Hello, hope you're doing well. The IPL is underway in the UAE. 9 out of 10 people or 99 out of 100 people or even 999 out of 1000 people talking about IPL are talking about Sanju Samson. Yes, the boy from Thiruvanthapuram, the young man from Thiruvanthapuram in Kerala has taken the IPL by storm, taken the UAE by storm. It's so heartening to see if you are a Malayali, isn't it? You talk about Indian sport, you talk about Kerala and Indian sport. Till the dawn of the century, we're talking about great footballers like Narayanan, I.M. Vijayan, uh, V.P. Satin, the late V.P. Satin, because so many names. You talk about volleyball, you talk about Jimmy George, you talk about T.D. Joseph, who was affectionately known as Papin. We talk about athletics, of course, we had an array of great stars coming from Kerala, the likes of P.T. Usha and Shiny Wilson. But nobody talked about Kerala cricket. There was a time when the Kerala cricketers, the first class cricketers used to play matches for free lunches. And this is a very true story. But things have changed. And things started to change, to be precise, on the 3rd of December 2001, when a tall, genial fast bowler from the city of Ernakulam, from the city of Cochin, made us all proud, made all the Malayalis proud by being the first Malayali cricketer who played for Kerala to play for India, that is Tinu Yohanan. And a few years later came the man who possessed a great outswing, a great seam position. His performance was noticed and also was his antics. Of course, I'm talking about Shantakumar and Sri Shant. Then Sanju Samson, Basil Thambi got picked for the Indian side, although he never got to play a match. And among the greats of IPL, we also had a few performances from the likes of Prashant Parameshwaran, Raifi, Vincent Gomez, Sachin Baby and Kerala Cricket Change. And the reason for that, I strongly believe, is the Indian Premier League. The Indian Premier League has been a great platform for a lot of cricketers to get noticed instantly. Some have gone on to play for the country and some haven't. Now, I was thinking, if Kerala could do it, a lot of other states also should be looking up to Kerala and to emulate what they have done. I know that certain states in the Northeast are probably pro football, but so was Kerala. If Kerala could produce cricketers of international quality, so can Manipur, so can Sikkim, so can Nagaland, so can Arunachal Pradesh. And we live in a country where we have reservation for anything and everything. So I'm just thinking aloud, I'm not sure how, but I'm just thinking aloud that maybe we can have some kind of a reservation for promoting cricketers there as well. And there's no better platform than IPL. So, it'd be a beautiful thing if we could have cricketers emerging from Imphal, from Itanagar, from uh, Gantok, from uh, Dimapur, from Kohima. Wouldn't that be great? For the time being, let's celebrate the success of Sanju Samson and Kerala Cricket. And let Kerala Cricket be an inspiration for the rest of the states. Thank you for watching. And do subscribe and stay tuned for more on IPL Diary. Thank you.